Hey there, Chad with Prodigal's customer success team here. In this video, we're going to talk about the description and pricing sections of our estimating feature, how to put things together, and what it looks like on the other side for your customers. Let's go over to the lead pipeline and open up an estimate. On the Glen lead here, we can go ahead and click on the nine squares on the right hand side and click on the create estimate button. Here we have a little bit of an introduction already put in and some contract details. Let's go ahead and add a labor cost line. In this, we're just gonna go ahead and put some placeholder text in here so we can really illustrate as we're building this estimate what it looks like for the customer using the preview as customer button right over here in the top right, right above this estimate section. So where it says give the estimate section a name, we're gonna go ahead and type in estimate section. And then for this labor cost line that we added, we'll go ahead and type in labor name. And then under the item description, we're actually gonna go ahead and, I like to put bullets here, and I'm gonna put labor description. And then we'll go ahead and put a price for the customer. So $500. Additionally, within this same estimate section, we can add a material. And you'll see by default, the little visibility toggle is off for materials. You can certainly show the descriptions of materials to your customers, um, but by default, materials are toggled off. So we'll go ahead and put in material name. And then additionally, under the item description, we could as well put material description. And then for this one, we'll go ahead and put a price for customer of $200. Now you can see that the $500 and the $200 have rolled up into this $700 price for the estimate section. So let's go ahead and click on the preview as customer button here. This opens up just what it would look like on the other side when you send this to your customer. We can see it says the um, introduction right here and below is the contract details. And additionally, where this says estimate section, labor name and labor description that's what we have toggled as visible right now now you can see the material price and the labor price are rolling up into this estimate section price if we close out of this and we navigate over to the material and turn on the visibility we could go ahead and open up the preview as customer option again and we'll see the description of the material now it says estimate section labor name, labor description, material name, and material description. And we can go ahead and close out of that. And there's one more option that I'd like to show you while we're here. If we open up the advanced description, there's some more options. So we could as well choose quantity is visible. Again, this being a non-itemized estimate allows us to actually flip this and show how many units of materials or even change the unit type or add custom unit types here, just to show the customer. So if we preview as customer, we can now see the material says material name one unit. And then finally, I'd like to show you this in an itemized format. Up at the very top of the estimate, under the customer uh, information right up here, is a display as itemized toggle. Once we flip that toggle, everything is marked as visible and all prices are shown after markup. Let's go ahead and click preview as customer. In this case, we can see there's a labor name and labor description, and it shows the price of this cost line. Additionally, the material name and material description and the price of that cost line. And we can also see the estimate section total. And then there's as well the subtotal and then any tax that you would have on the estimate. And again, your contract details, etc. And that's kind of flipping some of the switches here and you're estimating what it looks like on the other side for your customers. And if you'd like any additional help configuring this to work specifically for your business, always feel free to give us a call here at Prodrill. And that's estimating with the description and pricing in Prodrill. Thanks for watching.